It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light, walking in the light of God. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord, walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Jonah 3 Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. 
Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very important city. A visit required three days. On the first day, Jonah started into the city. He proclaimed, Forty more days and Nineveh will be overturned! The Ninevites believed God. They declared a fast, and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let any man or beast, herd or flock, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that we will not perish. When God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he had compassion and did not bring upon them the destruction he had threatened. This story tells us a lot about God's word. Here are three points from the story that shows how powerful his word is. Number one, God's word commanded Jonah for the purpose of letting the others know about what God is planning to do. Number two, God's word was able to guide Jonah in times of confusion. Number three, God's word was able to help Jonah to preach God's word. Now always remember, whenever we feel lost, alone, confused, or if you are going through a tough time, God's word will never fail to help us go through those times. Dear Father in Heaven, thank you for this day. We would like to express our gratitude to you for sustaining us with the things we need and for the people who have protected and cared for us. We pray for better days ahead. Keep me and my loved ones safe, dear Father. Amen. <music>